Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, the Democratic Party has selected their VP candidate, the running mate for Kamala Harris, and that's Tim Walz out of the state of Minnesota. They had their first rally yesterday in the state of Pennsylvania. And while I was watching the rally, I thought about it. I'm hearing all the progressives and all the Democrats and Gen Z sit back and say, you know, we're not going back. You know, Donald Trump wants to take us back, but we want to continue to move forward. But my question is, how far from God are we going? But to, you know, to debunk the fact that they're saying that they're not going back. Why did they go back to the white man? And then why did they pick a stereotypical southerner looking white man? Now, he's from the state of Minnesota. OK, but he was born and raised in Nebraska from you know, white settlers or white carpetbaggers that left the South to pretty much, you know, add slavery to Kansas and Nebraska. Look it up. His last name is Waltz. Do your due diligence. But listen, how are we going to come together as a country when we sit back and we have a party saying that we're progressive and we're going to move forward and we're not going back? And then you select a white man that's going backwards. OK, because it started out with the white man and now it looks like. That's his biracial sister. And then you get one that looks like, you know, somebody that's, you know, you see how he came out, you know, waving his hands and all of this. He looks like a weird white dude that pretty much will be willing to do anything to be successful. Because when you think about the selections in her picks, I'm sure when Pete Buttigieg and, you know, the other, you know, candidates, you know, that was trying to lobby or trying to become the VP. You know, they were polarizing individuals, came in with their secret service and cameras and all of that. And camera like they're not going to outshine me. So she picked a white man from the state of Minnesota, the whitest state in the union, 77 percent white, 77 percent, according to the 2020 census, are white, non-Hispanic. The black population is in only in the 300 thousands and there's a migration of blacks in this in uh, uh, St. Paul and Minneapolis where George Floyd was killed by the white police officer Eric Chauvin. Think about that. Think about that. Look how that Democratic city, the, all these white towns all around, but Minneapolis burnt down and think about it. When they talk about crime, and this is what the man said today, Mr. Waltz, he said that under Donald Trump, crime was worse. OK, that's that's fine. You can say that. OK, but the fact remains. And this is what Democrats across this country are going to have to answer to. Why is it when the 2024, 2023, 2024 of the worst cities when it comes to crime, gun violence in the United States out of the 20? Think about it. 18 out of 20. And the only one that was an independent was uh, Nevada. And then the other was Stockton, California. But 18 out of 20 Democratic ran cities, Democratic mayors, did he, uh, Demo you know, Democratic city council, Democratic, the whole nine. So what I'm saying is they got a white man that will come out and somehow have a smile on his face to get you to kill yourself. Because I can imagine on the slave plantation, the, the, our ancestors know what that is. I'm sure our ancestors are sitting, sitting back and saying, wow, Kamala Harris picked a cracker. That's a cracker right there because that's the type of white man that sit back and say, you, you know, Jethro, you know, I love you. You know, but since you, you know, you ate too much of my fruit, you know, I got to beat you. So go ahead and turn around, Jethro. I'm going to get you, boy. Come on now, boy. Look at him. That's that type of white man. See, he not no conservative, you know, suit toting brother, you know, saying a white brother like, you know, you know, Trump's sons, you know, what I'm saying like Gavin Newsom. This guy looks like Colonel Sanders. So you telling me this is going to help the Democratic Party? No, it's going to help Kamala Harris because he is not a threat to her. Because could you imagine if something, God forbid, was to happen to her and he became the president of the United States and you Democrats are talking about we not going back? He not finna pick no black woman or no black man. He's in the state of Minnesota. He don't know no black people. He coached the football team. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure from a division perspective, it was a low division because they didn't have not one black player on the team. So now that he's coming out, you know, cooling and shut buckling, you know, carpet bagging white man, white trash white man. OK, so just think about it. Don't be played. Don't be hoodwinked and bamboozled. Just it is what it is. And like I said, if I was typecasting, 
or casting for a slavery film. You know, I would actually put this guy in there as a slave master. And if I was casting for new episodes of Suits, you know, I'm, a, I'm, gra I'm grabbing Gavin Newsom. You know, I even grab Pete Buttigieg, you know what I'm saying? Because they look good in rock suits. But this guy, who's this guy? Okay, but see, the Harris administration think they did something special. You know, y'all can have that one. Okay, but um, all I'm saying is I know Megan Thee Stallion ain't finna go up and, you know, around him twerking and popping. See, they playing both sides. See, the reason why they really put him up in there is because the st statistics say that the state of Minnesota, this lily white state, you know, with um, J.D. Vance did already did two rallies in there. They started to resonate with the Trump administration. So they had to pick him because I guess those uh, 10 electoral college votes are more important than the rest of the country because he can't resonate in the rest of the country without her. Uh, just think about it. Just, just be honest with yourselves. Just be honest with yourselves. So if you think this is a good pick, you know, put it in the comments. If not, it's all good. But all I'm saying is this is a bad move and the third party coalition has just got a little bit stronger. So to the Democratic Party. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this out there. They say they better than Bird and the Midnight Falcons and, and the Temptations all together. But we shall see.